Hello and welcome to the live Champions League knockout draw. Um, coming to you, going live today, doing the draw as I've been unable to sort out the spreadsheets to do the randomised draw. So I thought it best to do it live on camera so everyone sees that it's all above board. Uh, so 16 players progressed through from the group stage um, with some impressive scores. And uh, how it works is I'll pull out one of the winner's names from the winner's pot. Uh, that's the runners up. The winner's pot, um, which will go into the draw table. Uh, and they will go up against a randomly drawn player from the runners up spot. So the winners from the group stage will go up against the runners up from the group stage. Um, so you may end up going up against somebody from your group. Okay, so without further ado, warm me hands up and we'll pull a name out. So the first name getting drawn out is currently the winner of Group A and 92nd in the league on 149 points, and that is Scott Jeffrey. In the home fixture. Uh, so, travelling to Scott will be... The lowest ranked player in the league on 132 points and only breaking into double figures twice. And that is Martin Preston. Nice draw there for Scott, I think. Okay, so our second winner of the group stage. One Group G with an impressive away goals tally of 35 was Kelvin Bell. And he drew that group with Zivi Useke, which was Lee Fulcher's second team. Okay, so travelling to Kelvin for their first away fixture. is one of the only three players to score 20 plus points qualified this year through the early qualifying and that is Sean Grecky. So that's Kelvin Bell against Sean Grecky in the second game in the knockouts. Our next winner Currently 19th on 178 points, it's Stuart Rain. And he will be going up against... Oh, friendly rivalry, friendly rivalry. Currently 50th in the league on 165 points. That's Chris Skinner. So the third game is Stuart Rain versus Chris Skinner. Our next winner. Group E winner and league leader, 25 points clear at the moment. It's Jason Mills. And he will be facing, nobody wants this one, nobody wants this one, and this one certainly won't want this one. Disappointing season for him so far compared to last season where he led for so long before bottling it at the end was Simon Thomas. So that's league leader Jason Mills 
goes up against Simon Thomas in the fourth. Okay, so the fifth, the fifth fixture, the winner from this will be the winner of Group F and one of the first to qualify for the knockouts, and that was Richard Abbott. And he will be going on to face last season's league and Champions League double winner, currently 10th in the league, Peter Fry. That's two Liverpool fans going up against each other, Richie Abbott versus Peter Fry. And in uh, game six, Winner of fiercely contested Group D, Matt Morris. And he will be going on to face me, slowly creeping up the table after my catastrophic start, currently are oh, now level on points with Scott Jeffrey. So that's me versus Matt Morris. And our penultimate knockout fixture. Cruise through Group H as the only player in the group stage to win five games. That was James Farmer. He did, however, have... Stephen Terry in that group who failed to win a fixture. 100% loss rate for Stephen Terry in that. He will, James Farmer will be going up against Zivi Useke, aka Lee Fulcher's second team, who's missed round 22 and scored two zeros. Which means our final winner from the draw is John McNichol, a.k.a. Kayleigh Eastwell, and was unbeaten in Group E. And he will go on to face... Frankie Merrick, runner-up from Group D. That completes the draw. Thanks for tuning in. Let's hope that 2021 is a lot better than 2020. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hashtag I didn't forget Jeff.